Bro, this is just an arcade. This does not count. This is not yours. Or is it? If it is yours, let me know. I want to come have a go. Welcome back to Roast My Sim Ring, where I look at user-submitted sims that have been sent to me over Discord or Twitter or wherever the hell people send things nowadays. I give my valuable insight as the world's most mediocre sim racer. Previously, when we've done similar videos, we've had some interesting results. So I thought it would be a good idea to revisit the cursed landscape that is my Discord and see what surprises they have on offer. And of course, if you want to be in videos like this in the future, feel free to join my Discord, the link down below in the description. And if you enjoy watching me give my expert opinion on such things, feel free to hit subscribe, like, comment, I don't know, do all the YouTube stuff. TikTok, Orange Justice, all of it, do it all at once. <laughs> Consult your doctor. Yo, my Discord's such a mess. I'm in like 40,000 servers. None of them remotely interesting, apart from Throw, of course, and SRM. They're good boys. Anyway, so I posted here on the 15th saying, yo, send me those rigs. Let's see what sort of haul we got. Well, first up, we have my boy Barto hitting us with the fairly basic, what game is that? That's a set of Corsair. G29 setup with wood. Very nice. This is a pretty basic setup, but pretty much all you need to go racing in sim racing. I always say this stuff, people, and unless you belong to the uh, sim racing Reddit, where basically it's just people posting their rigs they've spent far too much money on and yet yeah, don't drive. This sort of thing is fine. In fact, when I first started, I had the old um, Xbox 364 feedback wheel literally clamped to a book on my desk with a 4x3 monitor. I have no pictures, but here's an artist rendition. I'm looking forward to seeing what Joey does. <laughs> but yeah, this is fine. Also has the sim racing cable management, which I think we, we can all agree is uh, top tier here. Here we've got Danny's rig. Danny, for the love of God, please clean your monitor. My, th there are there are civilizations <laughs> in this thing. Rocking the G27 setup. And also what I assume is quite a lot of medication for the copium required for sim racing, especially when you're bad like me. <laughs> What's this down here? Some Chernobyl ass. Is that like a battery backup? I don't even know what that is. Danny, mate, please clean your desk. <laughs> please. Just give it a little rub. Just a little rub down. Oh, sh the Sarcastic Crow's giving us an actual video here. Bravo! With the European truck simulator music. <laughs> you see what that says on the screen there? Let me just move this in. Brother, I, I approve of this message. It could be worse. What I like here, if, if we pause, is there's the vape. There's the pint cans of Carlsberg, like a true gentleman. And on the floor, I'm not sure if you can see it. Let me move this across slightly. You can see the whiskey bottle. <laughs> that is mostly gone. Most normal sim trucker. I like the rig. Looks comfy. That's all you need, really. Now, Rat Smacker has sent in this bad boy. This looks pretty cool, pretty cozy. It's like we've got a nice little corner here. What's the setup here? This is a T300 complete with the sim racing slippers. Got to have them. I am not familiar with those pedals, but I'm going to assume they're Thrustmaster from here. On, oh my God, on the wheelie chair. So these chairs are a absolute shit house to sim race on. Because you can imagine, right, you're going to start... If you're going to brake hard, you're going to start actually accelerating backwards in the wheelie chair. <laughs> so I'm sure he's got it and we can't see it. I think there's maybe something behind keeping the chair in place. But if you're going to have one of these desk chairs to sim race in, then just make sure that you have like a stopper or something on the wheels because that will move you about a lot and probably cause you a crash of some kind. But I like it. It's a cool setup. We've got double monitors here to look at bullshit. We're FOV is similar to mine otherwise known as being awful. And we've got this really cool little um, sort of tablet display thing here that has a lot of, a lot of info on. So yeah, this, this is quite nice. This is decent. I'm not very good at roasting rigs, am I? I'm just happy to see people driving. <laughs> so, you know what, bro? Actually, I can roast this. These curtains are awful. There you go. These curtains look like my bed. Fun story, by the way. I bought a crushed velvet bed because I didn't know what crushed velvet was. So I have basically the whitest white girl bed in existence. And these curtains would match it perfectly. So bro, get in touch. Send me the curtains. <laughs> I can complete my pumpkin spice latte room. <laughs> uh. Next one we've got Sean Roberts, which has oh my god, this is a this is a mess. This is let me try and understand this. So we have uh, 820 aluminium holding this thing up. It doesn't seem to be really attached to anything apart from the floor. Does it move? 
You have um, what looks like one of these kind of play seat reclining chair things. I think maybe there's some Hussingville pedals there with a Fanatec base from what I can see. FOV is really nice. This is set up really nicely with the ultra wide monitor as well. I'm not really a fan of ultra wide. I don't know. I've never really got into it. I, I prefer triples or just like a single monitor. Ultra wide for me, isn't it? But more importantly, we've got the uh, the Haynes manual here for the Saturn V rocket down below. Bro is planning something. I'm hoping he's not going to end up on the list after watching this video. Oh, is he uploading to YouTube or is he streaming? What's he streaming there? Oh, and the gloves too. These are like my sim racing gloves that we like we sold for ages. The field glove. This one's been killed by the focus, right? But it's okay. Mate, I, I've got a lot of respect for this rig. It is chaotic. I, I live in a similarly chaotic room. So uh, yeah, that's good, man. Looks comfy, which is the important thing for these sort of races. Although this little pillar here, I hate these things on rigs. I know why they exist, but I really just dislike them because they really get in the way if you do things like heel and toe. It doesn't look like this is a big issue for, the, um, for Sean here, but... Yeah, for me, ah, not a fan. Holy sh! My guy's got the VW rig. He's out there playing Mario Kart IRL. I don't see it as a problematic whatsoever. Although now I have images of like throwing a live tortoise at some passerby. No, I don't like that too much. Turkey says, roast away, Jimmer. I will. Brother, straight away with the Lego though. Look at this. Oh my god, that's a Republic gun. Look, that's so cool. I mean, they, they, they just, look at that. How I don't even care about your sim rig anymore. <laughs> this is so cool. Can I get more pictures of this? My guy's using the VR. Is that a HTC? It is. Look at that. Look at my eyes. Oh my god. Look what I spotted just off to the right. There he is. He's just, he's just watching. He's anticipating. So yeah, it looks decent. But one of the weird things I always, I always find when I see stuff like this is that obviously there's no monitor here because it's just a VR only setup. But I think the angle of the wheel looks pretty odd. Looks like you sort of got it like this. You're sort of driving upwards. But obviously from this perspective, it's kind of hard to see. But yeah, it looks fine. Looks fine to me. But I will say brother's bin is looking a bit suspicious. What else are you doing in that sim rig, bro? What else are you doing in there? What else are you using the VR for? Hmm? This next one's from Shippy and probably in like the most clean looking environment we've had so far on the wooden floor. Nice rig as well. Nice seat. Seats are, you know, once you start getting into sim racing properly, having a nice seat is super important. Like I switched my seat for a while um, to like a Cobra style seat, I think it was. And it was newer. It was nicer. It didn't smell of swamp ass. But at the same time, it was so uncomfy that I had no choice but then to switch back to my original OMP seat. So, by the way, anyone, if you're watching and you make seats, sim racing seats, comfy ones, please let me know. I'm in the market. <laughs> Big time. But this rig's running a Fanatec. Is this a CSL Elite? Like the old one? I remember having one of these on, on Rig Astley. It was okay. And the inverted pedals as well, which is pretty decent. They, they, they must be pretty nice to use. With a, I think it's a cube wheel. I'm not that familiar with these cube wheel with a Fanatec hub on the back. So, yeah, this is a really nice rig. This is really decent. That that must be a lot of fun to drive in. But all the Fanatec stuff there, and the uh, PSVR, and the PS controller here, does tell me that this is probably just a like a Gran Turismo only rig. Which is, uh, it's cool seeing those because console rigs have really come on in the last few years, and they're getting closer and closer to what a PC rig is. And the more people sim racing the better, as far as I'm concerned. Brother, do we have another video? This time from Crimson Shadow. Oh my God. Let's have a look at it. Oh. Now we're talking. Bro's got the arcade machine at home. What game is this? I think I've seen it before. I just don't know the actual name of it. But yeah, 10 out of 10. I didn't think I'd be grooving along to one of these uh, one of these videos here, but uh, cool little rig again. Just Logitech using the the shifter as well. Um, there used to be a way um, we called it the rubber band mod with these things to sort of have a pretend sequential where you would uh, get some elastic bands and sort of wrap them around each nobble, yeah. and you could like put it into four, it would then bounce back, and then it, it, it was cool. Okay, I'm explaining it badly, but it was basically the poor man's sequential, and it was uh, it worked perfectly. Well. I think we have our winner, the gamepad. Now, I actually had this. I actually sort of mentioned this on Twitter the other day that oh, 
we're very, I can practically see the grime on that gamepad now. Oh, you can just, you just know. Oh, you can see it. You can see it in the seams. Oh, brother. So like get like a paper clip or something or like uh, like a, a thumbtack and just scrape that sh out. It's one, incredibly satisfying. Two, incredibly disturbing. So you know, see how you feel when you do it. But oh, I can, I can feel it in there. The history of a hundred sim races. <laughs> but anyway, I was saying before I called this guy disgusting um, that, um, that you can easily sim race on one of these. I did back in the day. It's easy enough. Obviously, you're not getting the full experience of using the wheel and pedals, etc. But it's it's pretty cool. It's 100% better than nothing as well, in my opinion. Holy sh**, Lukey, look at this. I've always wanted one of these. Any, I always wanted the flight stuff. But I've never had any room for it. What? I always want to try and get into flying, but that's well cool. This so we've got like a dual purpose rig here. We've got flying on the left with I think there's some sort of like Toby track IR thing at the top there, and uh, we've got business on the right with the uh, the sim race equipment using the Fanatec shifter. What the f Fanatec shifter? <laughs> yeah, this is like this is a really good use of space. You know, wheels mounted on the desk. Hopefully, it doesn't move too much. It looks pretty bulky down there. A lot of metal down there. But it's great. If you're racing at Monza T1 and you get absolutely launched at the first corner, as is often the way in sim racing, you can then just move across to the flight setup and control that launch as you're flying through the trees in Italy, you know? Good to have dual purpose rig. Dev Freak here. This is probably the cleanest setup we've seen so far. Really nice. So we've got a homemade or looks like base for the logitech wheel here i don't know what one it is i think it's a g29 judging by the buttons this thing you sort of cut off part of the wheel and make it into a formula style rim so that's going to work really well there and in my mind he's done things in the right order he's got a really nice comfy seat here he's got a really sturdy frame and i know they're a bit pricey compared to just whacking it on your desk but you're gonna feel a lot more immersed in a rig like this and if you have maybe um you know, this bolted to a desk, but yeah, this is probably the cleanest rig you've seen so far. This is really nice. Nothing bad to say about this. And then we go back to someone's bedroom, it looks like. But uh, yeah, standard T300 bolted to the desk there. I don't really know what's going on here. Oh, we could, what, what, what's on bro's desktop? Let's have a look. Super Mario Bros. And apparently Bro is also running a dual pedal setup. You do need four pedals when driving. Imagine the heel and toe <laughs> clutching. Maybe he uses this one as a clutch, actually. That, that could be a possibility. Maybe he uses the throttle as a clutch and then uses these pedals. I just, that's going to be too wide. I don't know. I, I don't, he, sent, he sent this picture in, so I assume that means something is happening, but I can't tell you what. This is not what I wanted to see today. <laughs> This, this, this is, I think, a lesson for anyone. If you put anything on the internet, it's gonna it's gonna haunt you for a while. So first of all, I don't know what the is this Roblox or something? I don't know what the hell this is. I could not tell you. All this down here is this like a real racing thing? Let me know in the comments, guys. I have no idea what this is. Is this is this, is this Korean? God, I wish I knew what the hell. <laughs> I wish I wish I had some sort of language ability. Mono says they just got their first wheel set up a few days ago. Got the Moser! 10 out of 10. It's like a decent desk here as well. This is running, I think this is a, a Porsche of some sort. Or like the Tokyo Highway mob, which is a ton of fun to do. Would recommend, by the way. But it looks really nice. I'm not sure if those pedals are going to stay where they are there on the floor. You can want some sort of... Um, Gonna need just something there to keep him in place. Same with this desk chair as well, but that seems to be sort of wedged against this sofa in the background. But yeah, this is a, a kind of decent, nice setup. That monitor there must be, that must play havoc with your brain. That's so close there. Oh my God, I'm such a nerd. I'm like, oh, your tire pressures are far too high for this car. Consider lowering them at the pit stop. Shut the f up, Jimmy. No. Typing says this one is unbeatable. That's just like a sad sim rig there. Oh. What the sock? Whenever I see this, this got this has got to be the, the the gin sock, surely, surely. And this is actually what I did with my sim rig for a long time um, when living in the shed. Uh, clothes would either go on the sim rig and then I'd sleep, and then clothes would go back on the bed so I could race, you know, like a true gamer would. Is this self-made? It kind of looks like it is. 
Yeah, respect, I guess. Mine has been upgraded since the last rig. I remember this guy. He had the propeller on the wall. This this guy here. This this does look like an upgrade since last time. He's got the fans on there as well. The suede line seat slash leather. I would not recommend for sim racing. You're going to sweat through that straight away. We still have the live, laugh, love, grape wine thing for some reason. I just assume there's a hole in the wall there where from sim racing. Speakers here too. This is a nice rig. I mean, I think if I were putting this much money into a rig, I would think about maybe going over to triples, but space does seem to be a bit of an option here. These things on top as well, these are lifesavers if you're a sweaty bastard like me. These are little fans you can just whack on the, uh, the top here and turn them on mid-race if you're feeling a bit sweaty. Is that... Is that like a master system at the top there? Just on the wall. This is a nice use of space. You know, you can tell there's not much space to be used here. Really crammed in the side. Looks cool. Definitely an upgrade from the last one. Congrats, man. Well done on uh, making it cooler. This one's from Crystalline. And this looks comfy AF. Look at this. I just said comfy AF, not ironically. Please unsubscribe, then resubscribe. This chair, I, I need to know more about this chair. This looks so comfy. This is like just like a really nice chill sim rig, pretty cozy in the corner of the desk around there as well. This is just like a really nice place to be. Got the uh, the turn racing wheel there, the button box in the back of it. So yeah, th this is this is figured out. This is an old wheel. This is an old wheelbase though. I'm, I'm wondering how this thing's contending with uh, modern life. Probably getting a little bit tired by now, as those uh, those units tend to be after a little while. Yeah, really cool. I like this one. Certain light as well of the 40,000 monitor setup. You'll love to see it. Yeah, this is a really nice, decent setup, this. Good set of pedals. I mean, you can see the gap in the monitors where if you're going to be a proper sim racing nerd, you know, you get arrested for this on sim racing Reddit. They would not like this over there. Oh, you've only spent 14,000 pounds on your rig. How can you be considered normal? Got the sim racer plate down the bottom there. My room is full, full of that, which is why it's so expertly cropped behind me. Please don't look too closely. Bro is a weeb though. I can tell this from two things. One, the poster in the top right here of some man thighs. Uh, also, there's Pokemon mouse mat down the bottom here. Very cute. The weebs are among us, boys. They're everywhere. The recliner. Fascinating. Raymond, I never Whoa. suspected. What, what seat is this? This looks super comfy. For the long races just basically laying down in that sort of f1 formula style sitting position this looks great i've never really got on with that sort of rig though i've always found myself getting a, I, I think i'd fall asleep in this genuinely especially in the longer races but yeah really nice again use of space here you guys are all like really professional i just like stick mine in the corner and go yep done this looks great i'm finding it really hard to roast any of these they're all so well set up all so neat and tidy bonus ducks oh dude this is what i was talking about the um the, the thing earlier on, this is from Danny again with the, the grubby monitor, but this is the um, this is a handbrake solution he's thought of here. So if you're doing the handbrake, you put both rubber bands sort of behind it here. So when you put it into fourth, it then sort of pops back out forward again. If you want to have the sequential, you just re do this again, um, sort of double this, but turn it around. So it's then uh, sort of behind and in front of the shifter and you get like a little cool little sequential. Nice little hack there if you have any of these old Logitech shifters that don't have the sequential mode on them. So guys, they were my Discord's sim rigs. I hope that maybe you found some sort of inspiration there. And I'm realizing that I'm not very good at roasting these, mainly because I'm just happy to see everyone get racing in their own way. It's, it's what the hobby is about. You don't have to have a million trillion pound sim rig to get out there and be good. As I always like to say in these videos, some of the best sim racers I know and have ever raced against have raced on a fairly low-end equipment. So it's not about the kit you use, it's about your own skill issue. So if you are looking to get into the hobby, you don't have to go and splash thousands of pounds. Start small. See if you like it first, then you can start getting into the stupid stuff. But thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate having you along. A big thank you as always to the channel members and patrons who are all here somewhere. Take care, have an awesome day. I'll see you all for the next one.